Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new project which is called Intern Chat or known as iChat. And it's basically a visual interactive system that allows users to communicate with ChatGPT through pointing instructions. Now by clicking, dragging, drawing, using pointing devices, users can actually interact with ChatGPT in a more efficient and accurate manner compared to existing interactive systems that solely rely on language. Now this is the actual name of the chatbot which is intern chat and is derived from its key features which are the interactions non-verbal communications as well as its chatbot feature now incorporating pointing instructions enables iChat to improve the accuracy of chatbot and vision centric tasks especially in complex visual scenarios now this basically means that iChat is particularly useful in scenarios where language alone may not be sufficient to convey the necessary information and this is something that we're going to be checking out in today's video i'll leave all the links down in the description below with this white paper as well as the announcement and as well as the repo currently the demo is down at this current moment because they're facing a lot of influx on their actual gradio site which they have their demo deployed on but i'll also leave the link in the description below so that you can actually access it so in today's video we're also going to be checking out what you can do with it checking out the flowchart of what this project is trying to achieve check out some of the major features and with that thought guys if you guys haven't subscribed please do so there's a lot of value and a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from at the world of ai i'm continuously going to be posting every single day so that you guys can get the best of the best knowledge as well as the best content so it would mean the world to me if you guys can go subscribe like this video turn on the notification bell and with that thought let's get right into the video so let's actually get into the gist of talking about what iChat is or known as intern chat well one of the main features is its auxiliary control mechanism and that's what controls the capabilities of large language models used by ChatGPT. now this mechanism allows users to fine-tune the performance of the large language model for specific tasks which we can see and which we're going to be talking about in this video and what it does is it makes the actual application more effective at handling complex visual tasks now this is something that we're going to be checking out in today's video as they have many features as to what you can do with iChat now iChat also uses a large vision language model called husky and it's been fine-tuned as well as been trained for high quality multi-modal dialogue and impressively husky has achieved a gpt4 quality score of 93 percent which makes it the most advanced and accurate multi-modal dialogue model currently available and this is something that we're going to be showing you in today's video now Let's talk a little bit more about some of the main features. So we can see on the repo, they emphasize some of these things that they talked about. You can remove a must mask object, which is something that uh, Meta has actually done. You're able to interactively edit the image with their chatbot. You're able to generate image generation. You're also able to interact with visual question answers, and you're also able to interact with image generation, which is insane, guys. So you're able to do a lot of different things, and which is hence why they named it intern, because you're in, in a way, it's basically doing some of the menial tasks that you would want it to do as an intern as, or for an intern. And that's one of the great things about this, guys. Now, let's go a little bit more deeper into talking a little bit more about the features. So as you talked about, iChat is a visual interactive system that allows users to interact with ChatGPT through its pointing instruction. Now, what makes it so good is that it greatly improves the efficiency as well as the accuracy of communication with its chatbot, which we can see in these images of its demo. And this is achieved by incorporating visual cues into the actual dialogue. And this helps it to supplement language based instructions. Now, secondly, I also see that iChat uses a large vision language model, which is called Husky. And we talked about this previously. And one of the main things about this is that it's been fine tuned for its high quality multimodal dialogue. And what this does is that it accurately in like interprets whatever you input, whether it's an image or an actual text prompt and it responds both both ways in a language based model as well as a non verbal cue and it results to more natural intuitive interactions with the actual user so it makes the actual chatbot interference way more better with the user and like as well as the actual application and 
another feature we can talk about is its auxiliary control mechanism and this is something that we also talked about previously and this mechanism allows users to actually fine-tune the performance of the model for specific tasks and we can see that you're able to do multiple different things with this actual task and you have a lot of different interactive ways to basically complete specific tasks now another thing that i wanted to talk about is that iChat is capable of handling complicated visual scenarios and this is something that meta has been struggling not struggling but they a big company like them they've been able to do this with their actual image mind tool as well as their sam which is their augmented like uh image tool and from this they're able to actually in particular have the application run so that it's able to handle complicated visuals like actual scenarios in which they can interactively edit an image or generate an image through a text prompt now this company this small little company has been able to do this so well with its masking objects as well as its different interactive visual like generation and you can see that they've done a really great job in doing this and they've basically done like so much to achieve this through its incorporative visual cues as well as its instructions that it provides to the application and this helps the supplement language based instructions and improve its accuracy of its chatbot in vision centric tasks so it's amazing to see a company like open v lab or i'm um, sorry if i'm open gv lab sorry and it's amazing that they're able to accomplish something like this and with that, such low backing and accomplish something that meta is trying to do at this current moment so it's great to see a company like this do this and it's basically for commercial use or not commercial use sorry it's this project is released under the alpaca 2.0 license i'm not too sure about the commercial use yet but i'll do my research and i'll leave it in the description below so let's actually focus on the what the actual research is trying to talk about with iChat and show its overall architecture of the system. So the perception unit is responsible in this in this actual diagram we can see sorry there's three main components the first one is the perception unit second one is the large language model controller and the last one is the open world toolkit which utilizes different apis to build upon its application now the perception unit is responsible for perceiving the physical world through a variety of models including object detection segmentation and video understanding and this is something that we saw over here in these examples now these models can are capable of detecting and interpreting visual information from the environment and can serve as a sensory organ for the LLMs used by ChatGPT. Now the language large language model controller basically is the main component of iChat and it's responsible for processing the user's input and generating appropriate responses. Now the LLMs used by ChatGPT are trained on large amounts of data and are capable of generating natural language responses based off of what you actually input. Now, as you can see, you can basically chat and instruct things to the LLM and it then plans or decides on what to do with that input and it uses the toolkit to give you the response, which is the output over here. And you're also able to do it with images, videos, and audio different types of things like this and it's perceived through its different perception unit as well as its lm controller and from this you're able to utilize the different toolkits to get you the output now the open world toolkit is a collection of tools and resources that are supported with the development and deployment of iChat and we can see there's a list of these things that I'll be talking about very shortly and these tools include APIs frameworks libraries and enable like basic development to customize and extend the functionalities of the system and this is how you're able to get the output later on in the actual from what you give it as an input and what you're supposed to get as an output now let's actually emphasize on some of the actual list of several representations of its toolkit now we see that you're able to do a lot of different things you're able to work with masked objects question them actually like edit them video highlight like highlighting different type things in a video and this is all through utilizing the api supported with internal or intern chat now these apis include natural language processing apis such as like google cloud natural language or ibm's watson natural language understanding 
as well as Microsoft's Azure Test Analysis. Now, these are some of the APIs that enable iChat to analyze and understand the user's input and generate responses from those inputs. Now, in addition to these natural language processing APIs, iChat also supports a range of other APIs, which you can see over here, including its computer vision APIs and things like different particular ones that we can talk about are like uh, the video chat ones that come with OpenG Lab, which is another ask anything repository that they've created. Uh, we're able to see that you have vision using stable diffusion APIs and different things like this that makes the actual application functional through its APIs that are supported with iChat. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in terms of its demonstration, but if you want to compare and look at some of the results that we're basically able to generate with uh, iChat, you can see that it's performing so much better in terms of like in this case, they focused on remove a study on removing something from an image. You can see that the results have been way better compared to the other ones in case in this case it's visual chat gpt that they compared it to and you can see that the results are way like better than the actual visual chat gpt and they've also emphasized this on different types of like models as well as what their actual tool can do in certain cases so they compared it using both of these types of things uh, so i highly recommend if you want to check out a more in-depth analysis you look at the research paper to get a better idea now given that iChat is a really big application there are some things that are limiting its strengths but one of the major limitations of this application is that its system performance may be affected by the variations in quality of the pointing device used by the user now if the pointing device that is actually not precise or responsive it may be difficult for the user to accurately convey the actual intentions to the chatbot. And this is one of the main like limitations you can see with this actual chatbot. Now, another thing that I wanted to note is it's, its struggle with understanding complex as well as its like basic idea of giving inputs to its visual cues. While the system has perception models that are capable of detecting and interpreting its wide range of visual information, there may be cases where the user's intentions are not fully captured by the system. And that's something that they emphasize in their actual paper. Additionally to this, I also see the iChat system is heavily reliant on pre-existing models and APIs, which we saw above and which may limit its actual ability to adapt to new unexpected scenarios. Now, if the underlying models or APIs are not well suited for a particular task or a domain, the system's performance might lack in some cases. And this is something that they emphasize with the research. Now, let's actually take a look at some of the examples. Now, obviously, we can see that these are some of the limitations. But overall, I definitely see that iChat is an impressive example of pointing language driven visual interactive systems. And it's important that you consider these limitations when using this. But obviously, there are certain things that they're going to be working on to basically not get rid of all these limitations but in a way manage them so it's not so detrimental to what you're trying to achieve in certain cases now these are these are some of the actual examples of what you can do with its actual application you're able to interact with image editing which we see in this where you're able to click on an image and you're able to segment the click like the region and you're able to remove it by telling it what to do in this actual chatbot now, you're also able to interact with the image and try to detect what the actual thing is trying to imply. In this case, I believe it asked what the actual uh, like menu item is and you're able to get a response on it. And you can even ask it questions like, I want to eat more, one meat and one vegetarian. I have $20 and it will give you a recommendation on what you can do. And that's quite kind of cool in my, in my opinion. You're also able to generate different types of images that it relates to the thing you're also able to segment anything on an image and get something created out of that segmentation you're able to mask that image and put it into a different type of environment you're also able to video highlight different things that is happening and this is all like quite like interactive with what you can do with this chatbot and i definitely see this as a very useful tool and that could be used for a lot of different use cases now i definitely see that this architecture of iChat is quite like 
remarkable and I definitely see it becoming a very big advantage that someone can use on a day to day basis. So definitely keep an eye out for this guys and I hope you found this video quite informative. I'll leave all the links down in the description below and if you found this video quite helpful it will mean the world to me if you guys can go like this. Now if in terms of actual installation make sure that you have these base requirements so that you can install. The main is this if you have enough GPU you need to make sure that you have at least 17 gigs for this loading basic tools such as Husky which it's the one of the encoders as well as the actual segmentation tools for its actual operations so make sure you have these requirements before you install it it's quite easy but i highly recommend that you don't install it at this current moment as it's currently in construction once the demo is up you can use it by clicking on their github link and clicking on the actual gradio demo link currently you're not able to access it but they're going to be able to uh, update and have it functional very shortly so make sure you have this uh or play around with it once it's available but with that thought guys thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video informative and with that thought guys have an amazing day have a great smile and i'll catch you very shortly peace out fellas